living with a local star can be a little bit of a hassle. But once you get a better understanding of your relationship, you can become a lot more than just fair weather friends. It's important to have an understanding of the relationship between the sun and the earth, because it's a relationship that directly affects human life. The sun is an important part of our lives. We have fun playing or relaxing in its light. It keeps us warm and helps grow food. But the sun itself is not a peaceful place. The sun is a star that is incredibly powerful. Space weather begins here. Why is space weather important to us folks here on Earth? Well, we all know how weather affects us on Earth. If it's raining, grab an umbrella. If it's cold outside, grab a jacket. But space weather also has an important impact on our lives. So where does it all begin? Let's get back to the sun. The sun may be a big ball of plasma or heated gases, but it still has distinct layers. Under the surface of the sun lies a restless world of unbelievable power. Huge amounts of energy are released that bubble and boil to the surface. This energy frequently causes the surface of our star to erupt. The core, or center of the sun, is a mind-boggling 15 million degrees Celsius. That's 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. The photosphere is the layer of the sun that is the light we can see. The photosphere is only about 6,000 degrees Celsius, or 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun's outer atmosphere, called the corona, is made up of thin gases. The corona has temperatures of one to two million degrees. Even though this layer reaches out millions of kilometers from the sun, it can only be seen during the solar eclipse without special telescopes. The sun is constantly giving off streams of charged particles. These streams are called solar wind. These charged particles fly towards Earth all the time. But sometimes a storm on the sun can send huge amounts of particles towards our world. These strong waves of energy and radiation can cause all kinds of problems. You can think of it like the sun is sneezing, and sometimes the Earth catches those sneeze particles when it's heading in our direction. Ew. So how do we steer clear of these sun sneezes? Well, fortunately, Earth has a protective outer layer called the magnetosphere. The magnetosphere is the magnetic atmosphere that surrounds our planet and manages to keep away most of the harmful radiation coming from the sun all the time. That's why we're safe down here on the planet. One type of solar sneeze is called a solar flare. Like giant pools of gasoline igniting, solar flares explode like bright flashes. Some flares extend upward nearly 100,000 kilometers into the corona. They are very powerful explosions. Another type of sneeze happens when the sun's corona splits open and spews out as much as 20 billion tons of material into space. Wow, good thing Earth has a big hanky. These explosions are known as coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. CMEs are so powerful, you can call them the flu of space weather. Fortunately for us, very few CMEs are aimed at Earth. CMEs and flares can throw large amounts of highly energetic charged particles out into space. Sometimes these very energetic particles race towards Earth, reaching the planet within 30 minutes. You want to know what happens when the Earth's magnetosphere, or handkerchief, doesn't catch all the sneeze particles? Sometimes these space storms cause a change in the Earth's magnetic tail on the side of the Earth facing away from the sun. These changes create auroras in the polar regions. Auroras are beautifully colored light displays that happen at night and usually near the Earth's poles. Even though these storms don't happen often, it's still important to keep an eye on our friendly neighborhood star. NASA scientist Nikki Fox studies storms from the sun. She's a solar scientist. If the sun is very active, um, it can be having a lot of solar flares, a lot of bright flashes, can be sending out a lot of energetic particles. Um, we can even have big solar storms, and they are going to impact the Earth. So we want to be able to predict in the same way that you would protect yourself with an umbrella, we want to be able to provide some protection for the spacecraft and for our astronauts up in space. But remember, the Earth is protected from the majority of space weather because of its large protective magnetic field that extends into space. So now you can see why it's so important to keep an eye on the relationship our world has with our local star, the sun. Yeah. Zoom tight.